there, Jay Errett of The Marketing Spot with a quick little screencast on how to maximize the effectiveness of your Google Places page. Google Places pages are sort of like your yellow pages listings on the Internet. When people get local search results or they do a search for a local business in Google Maps, they get access to your Google Places page like this one for sprinkler repair in Waco, Texas, which is my hometown. Now, unlike the yellow pages, however, Google Places is free. Now you can see what a page looks like when you click on the More or Review buttons, like this one right here. Let me give you three tips on how to maximize the impact of your Google Places page. First, if you haven't yet claimed your Google Places page, find your listing on Google Maps and then click on this link in the upper right hand side here that says Business Owner. It will take you through the process of claiming your Google Places page. Tip number one for maximizing your Google Places page is to get some reviews. For example, this business right here has four reviews. So how do you get reviews? Let me show you an easy way to do this. First, navigate to your Google Places page in Google Maps. Now this is mine here, the marketing spot. In the upper right hand corner you see this link button right here. You click on that and you get this space right here. You can highlight and copy this link so that you can email it out to your customers. Now this link is over 100 characters long so you might use our URL shortening service to shorten the URL into something that isn't so intimidating. I use a service called Bud URL to shorten my links so that I can customize them. And here let's take a look at my Bud URLs. And right here is my link to my Google Places page. I have given it the customized address of mspotgoogle, budurl.com slash mspotgoogle. What I can do is take that link, put it in an email, and mail it to my clients and ask them for reviews on my Google Places page. Now be aware, Google rules state that you cannot offer incentives or discounts to people who give you reviews on your Google Places page. Tip number two is to create some current content on your Google Places page. Google allows you to place Twitter-like posts of up to 160 characters. When you're logged into your Google Places page, you'll see this area in the upper right-hand corner that allows you to make updates on your page. Now you can see that my last post references a webinar that I had a few days ago. That's over, so I want to change that. I'll just click here and I'll type in, which I've already typed this in in advance, I help businesses create awesome marketing plans. Call me for a free initial consultation, no obligation. When I hit post, now it's live on my Google Places page. You can be personal, announce sales, recognize employees, whatever you want to do. It lets you add a personal touch to the page. Tip number three is to add photos and videos. When you're logged into your Google Places page, hit the Edit button right here. Then when you scroll down, you see that you can add photos or video to your Places page. To add a photo, click the Choose File button here, and it lets you navigate to the file on your computer. Then just click the Add Photo button, and there it is. To add a video, you'll need a YouTube channel and some videos hosted on YouTube, which luckily I do. To add a video, navigate to your YouTube channel and to the particular video that you want to add to your Places page. Now, get this URL address right here, copy it, go back to your Places page, and add it right here in this frame. Click Add Video, and you'll see that the video has now been added to your Google Places page. You can add up to five videos. Now, ideally, you should have created some sort of greeting video or maybe a tour of your physical location if you have one. I've created a video that explains my coaching service and it's the first video on my page. Google Places is your friend. Get to know your friend. Maximize its impact by number one, encouraging people to review your business. Number two, create some current or personal content by posting it onto your page. And number three, adding photos and videos to your Google Places page. My name is Jay Eric of The Marketing Spot. My blog is themarketingspotblog.com, and my website is themarketingspot.com.